Hi, Brittany. In this video, I'm just going to orient you a little bit to Zern's website. I know some of this I've covered with you already, but I wanted to use this opportunity just to give you a quick overview of the resources that are available to you, as well as some that you may want to spend some time digging into um, over this fall break. So when you log in via your teacher account, this is the page that you see. And there are a couple of resources that you can click on right on this page that I think would be really helpful for you. The first is down here, you'll see school account resources. And if you click view resources, you have a lot of things available to you via the school account that Lumen has purchased. So the first is these recorded training sessions. One that I think is gonna be particularly helpful for you as you become more in tune with what your kids are doing on digital lessons is the training on Zern Math class reports. And you can just click here on this access recorded training button and view this at any time. So that's one that I think will be um, particularly helpful for you. And you can scroll down here and see if any of these other topics um, are relevant to you as well. But this is the one that I most highly recommend. Other places to click here are um, visit our help center. You can also access the help center here, but there's a help center on Zern that really can answer any question that you could possibly ever have via the search engine here or simply via the help center homepage where you can click on specific links to articles that may be helpful. Um, this article happens to be about setting students to a diagnostic mission. And um, while you don't necessarily need to reset students right now, as I mentioned in my email, that'll be coming in a couple weeks, um, there, is, are, there are articles in here specific to how to set students via your roster, which will be helpful for you. If you go just to the Zern Center homepage here, um, or Zern Help Center homepage, you can see, um, especially if you click in the For Teachers button, you have access to dozens of articles here specific to questions that you might have or things you wanna learn more about digital lessons, um, all here ready at your fingertips. And then the search tool is also really helpful as well. The other thing I wanna show you, and we've seen this before, but on your curriculum page, you can go to your grade level and the overview page to access this learning recovery sequence. And I've shown you this in our coaching session, but just to recap, this is really the scope and sequence that you'll wanna follow closely as you teach throughout the year. So right now you're in grade five, mission one, and you'll just follow through lesson by lesson. It indicates where you're giving your mission assessments. So this really acts as your pacing guide and your compass as you continue to work through lessons with students this year. And again, you access that here on the overview page. You cannot access that as you click into one of these specific missions. You need to be on the overview page here to access that. Um, the other thing that's helpful on this overview page is just to view um, overview of missions, which I think can be really helpful to study as you prepare to teach. They give you a really good sense of the models, and the math that you're teaching within that mission. And so those overview pages can be very helpful as well. Then as you click into a specific mission, this is where you'll wanna to go to access the guided practice videos that we've talked about being so important to use as you lesson plan. So we've reviewed these materials for every mission. You'll have fluency, lessons, word problems for each lesson, and then small group lessons. And this is where you really plan the heart of your lesson that you're teaching to students. And these are the lesson plans that you'll wanna use side by side as you do the guided practice for each digital lesson. And like I explained in our last coaching session, Brittany, really the purpose of that is just to give you a super clear model of the language, of the mathematical models that are being used in each lesson to help you as you read and annotate your small group lessons so that you ensure that your delivery of content is as clear and concise and accurate as possible for your students. And when I say guided practice, I really just mean this portion of the lesson. It's always in green. And in fifth grade, there are three different kinds of guided practice experiences for kids. There's math chats, which you see most often, learning labs, and then also Z-Squad lessons, um, which you'll just see when those come up, they'll pop up and they'll say Z-Squad here. Every kind of guided practice 
has student notes, which you'll learn more about in the PD you're going to um, partake in this week, except for learning labs. There are no notes for learning labs. But as you complete each math chat or learning lab or Z-Squad, for math chat and, learn and Z-Squad, those lessons that have notes, you can see the notes that students complete during the lesson simply by clicking on this, this notes tab. And so that's a good thing to peek at as well as you're doing these digital lessons, just so you get a sense of the math that your students are doing as they do those lessons as well. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you here, Brittany, is what you can access um, via your PD tab. So because uh, Lumen has purchased a license for professional development, you can access PD for free, really for nothing, uh, no cost to you or your school throughout the year. The PD that I'm having you do this week is Classroom Implementation PD. So the video I sent you is a link to me guiding teachers, guiding your colleagues through this PD. But if you prefer to do a version where you don't see me facilitating, you can access the PD this way as well. The participant notes that I sent you are right here. And you can either view those online or print them out if you have access to a printer. And then there's three sessions you'll engage with, session one, session two, and session three. And you'll simply click on the video link here and hit play, and it'll take you all through that professional development learning experience. The other thing that would be really helpful for you to engage in is Curriculum Study PD. So if you go to the PD tab over here at Curriculum Study and go to Grade 5, Mission 1, you may have participated in this PD. I'm not sure when you were hired on. We did this PD in the summer before school started. Um, but whether or not you were able to participate in it, if you'd like to do it at this point since you're teaching in Mission 1, Again, you would just click on the participant notes here and have these up as you engage in the PD. And then the whole learning experience is here for you via video. And these PDs are meant to help deepen your content knowledge before you teach a mission or as you're teaching a mission. So right now, since you're early to mid mission one, if you have time this week, um, in addition to what I sent you, and this is optional, Brittany, but if you have time and would like to engage in this PD, it would take about an hour and would really help deepen your content knowledge of the math that you're teaching your students in this mission. And that's it, that's what I wanted to show you today. The last thing you'll see is the reports tab. That video I showed you just a few minutes ago in terms of accessing the, tr um, the training video for reports will be really helpful. Um, and then you can get to your reports um, just like this when you log in via your teacher account. I'm excited to dive into all of this more with you um, when we come back from break. And if you, as you look into some of this stuff over break, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions.